Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome to another tutorial video of Utah Macross with me. So this time around, we're going to talk about something that I've been planning uh, for some time, almost about well, half a year or so, ever since the game started. Well, it's been very difficult to put this video together because um, I've been trying to find means of uh, fair judging of this um, entire video. Um, so if you're not sure what we're talking about, basically the title of the video is uh, How to set up your divas uh, for the most effective high score uh, possible So guys, we're gonna set up the divas uh, in a manner that you can achieve the best high score you can get from a particular song um, The method I'm gonna teach you is generic for any kind of uh, element songs so guys, uh, bear with me, it might be a draggy video um, but I try, I'll try my best to make it as informative as possible Alright guys, so as you can see Reina is in her default costume because right now I have um, adjusted all my divas to wear their basic default costumes in a way that so that their costume stats will not affect the scoring possibilities So all the divas are right now neutral in terms of stat boost or their costumes so if you want to know more about the costume stats and uh, effects basically i will try my best to do another video uh, of that explaining each costume's uh, status um, and probably i might explain it along whenever new events come out as well because new new events usually mean new costumes for the divas and of course a new costume means there is a new stat boost that the diva may obtain uh, during an event or um, throughout the, the songs that you play when equipped with that costume so look forward to that video in the future um, so right now it's fair game for all the divas except for one factor which I find it very hard to neutralize because uh, it is something that's continuously changing as uh, time goes by when you play into the game uh, well, as long as I have so what I'm talking about is diva proficiency if you guys aren't familiar with the term diva proficiency right now uh, I will link in the I'll leave a link in the description down below to one of my older videos uh, talking about diva proficiency uh, explaining what it is and uh, how is it gonna affect your uh, gameplay um, of course that video has been out for some time it may be a bit um, not so informative so I might do a brand new video explaining about diva proficiency in the future uh, so bear with me just um, take note of whatever information I have mentioned in the old video um, make sure that it's something that you can absorb for the meantime until I come out with a better script or uh, a whole line of uh, knowledge that I can uh, hand over to you guys that is a bit more accurate alright so with that said I have chosen one song okay um, well I did chose I did choose this song in the thoughts that you know having the vast proficiency maxed out in this particular song will play a fair game but you know considering that all the divas are well of different levels in each different song um, their proficiency will end up being different so as you can see if I tap here Mikumo is level 44 all right so Kaname is level 45 so yeah so with that in mind this is the only factor to win this test that is probably gonna cause inaccuracy in terms of uh, uh, fairness of stats on each diva because their levels are all different so it, when the levels are different basically means their stats may be higher than some of the other divas out there that I currently own um, so yeah that's the sad thing about this test uh, it's impossible almost impossible to do a fair test um, unless I start a brand new account which is also a very unfair test um, because um, the episode plates involved with the account may not be the same uh, and you know the depending on the luck of the player and the, the account they own uh, they the account might have better plates than what I have currently on my this account uh, that I've been using since the beginning of the game well so with that in mind 
do take note this test may generic generically be unfair because of these certain factors but i've tried my best to put it in a way that is um well as fair as i could <laughs> uh, let's put it as that all right so we're gonna test this out on um, the difficulty level easy because i want to compare the stats or rather the end results the, the end score results um, of these uh, setups um, with a full uh, perfect combo so yeah with that in mind uh, we're gonna set up the divas uh, in two different manners so one basically is the auto setup which I usually recommend to you guys in any of my uh, event tutorial videos basically how you can set up your divas without going through the hassle of manual setup so that's one method the other method is basically setting up uh, the divas that I've chosen um, purely manually so that's probably the best way you can get the best high score results uh, rather than going with the auto setup uh, method. Okay, with that said, let's get down to setting up our diva teams um, for this song. So you can see this particular song is a heart element based song. Now, what I'm going to teach you basically will apply for any element, uh, it doesn't matter. So if it's a rainbow element, basically uh, you can have a mixture of different colors of episode plates together. So that Usually, rainbow-based songs will end up giving you better scores than uh, single-element songs. Alright, so let's dive into setting up the actual team itself. Okay, so what you want to take note here... Okay, I'm going to reset this um, to total. Or rather, I'm going to reset the entire thing. So this, this button here is a reset, so whatever you have selected before will be reset. Okay. So I'm going to try using the same friend uh, um, for both tests. So in this way, the, uh, I would say the element of uh, being fair is still there. So I'm just going to choose a friend. I'm going to have uh, Yuna. Since it's a heart element song, I'm going to have Yuna. I'm going to memorize this person. And I'm going to have uh, this friend um, as my support so to make sure that my this friend is always there i'm gonna refresh and make sure that this friend is there so as you can see yuna is always there probably this friend is in my friend list all right so here we're gonna choose the diva so all right so you're gonna select the diva based off whatever you want uh, them to be better at if you want them to be better in the total score or you want them to be better in soul voice charm you know so uh, now normally i don't recommend um having any of the divas based off the three individual element factors that affect the total high score um well it's mainly because if you only focus on one type let's say for example i will focus on charm um the rest of the stats will be lower uh than what is needed to actually help you uh, get a better total score so normally for myself i'll just go with total so in this case then they will show you uh, the divas arranged accordingly to their best total so mikomo is the highest because probably mikomo's level uh, or rather her uh, proficiency level is the highest among the rest of the divas and you can see yeah so if you really want to go into detail on which diva to actually use for a high score, you know, you can actually tap them and take a look at their entire total stats. So you can see that Mikumo's be Mikumo is better at soul and voice songs. So if you really, really want to focus on um, that, then of course you can change it. So let's say for example now, um, we are doing a, a heart. Uh, element song basically um, I can focus it on charm um, but that, 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 that doesn't mean that you know um, the episode plates that I've selected will be of the same um, color as the song because um, even though this, the song itself is in pink um, but sometimes other color plates have higher charm elements 
than the rest of the pink plates so yeah so for that in, with that in mind uh, I will have uh, another video talking about episode plates itself we're gonna break down the whole structure of episode plates uh, so that it's easy for everyone to understand and get a grasp of how important an episode plate is um, yeah so with that in mind as well you can actually help yourself set up the best um, Eva uh, setup with the best episode plates you currently have in your collection uh, and try and obtain the best high score you can uh, especially if you want to go for uh, event high score ranking or basically to get the highest score you can get for a particular song to improve your player rank itself so yes so all that information will have individual videos in the future under my new uh, playlist on uh, in my youtube channel uh, called Uta Macross Tutorials so all the videos um, with information regarding specific portions of the game will be under that new playlist um, so if you guys like the information do share out the playlist uh, with your friends especially who are more focused into Uta Macross uh, competitively I don't know uh, hopefully that my videos will help you guys out um, in the future and or with the current events all right so i'm just gonna go with um let's see i'm gonna pick three divas with the same uh total value so we have uh makina reina and uh, milin so let's see if i were to pick makina here her uh, stats is like four six four six six one five so she's better at charm so well she is a pink character so <laughs> definitely she'll be better at charm Reina on the other hand, um, she's better at voice. Yeah. Then Lin, hopefully she's better at soul. Apparently she's not. So yeah, so it will be a bit unbalanced, I suppose. Yeah. So let's see. Uh yeah, so Basara is better at soul. But it seems like the stats are all pretty much um balance because like four six four six then yeah. hmm. okay so I can actually go with Makina Rina and Basara so that the average uh, is balanced out because each of the diva has their own uh, specialized um, well element or basically type of type of song so Basara is good at soul you can see that he's good at soul uh, even though his total is higher no his total is the same as Makina Rina so that makes it very fair okay so it's it's pretty good okay so we're just gonna go with these three divas to make it a fair test okay so wait Basara is already here so okay no I should put Makina and Rina at the side that have Basara in the center because that's the way it should be the man <laughs> shall lead the way no uh, yeah, he is the only male character <laughs> <laughs> uh, out of the whole diva list. Okay, so <laughs> with that in mind, let me find Rina. Where's Rina? Okay, here we go. So this is the probably the best uh, fair setup that we have for divas. Okay, I'm gonna do an auto uh, setup right now. So as you can see, it's under the heart. Alright, and it's a total. Okay, we're gonna press OK. And this is the best setup that um, the, the, the PC or the AI for the game has decided so I'm going to show you the stats so do take note of the stats alright so because the thing about this setup here um, you can see there are some plates that actually have like the lucky leaves slotted into the I mean lucky stones slotted into the lucky notes so yeah, we're gonna have like maybe um, luck uh, excellent factors uh, affecting the total score so yeah so only one plate with luck so do take note okay so right now the total of my entire team is 57792 and of course you can see the voice is actually higher than the chart <laughs> that's pretty interesting then, of course, because of episode plates like Kanami's, 
we have extra items uh, well we will have probably notes with uh, items um, falling more and of course recovery notes as well so yeah so all that will be in uh, another video regarding episode plates so anyway those notes do not affect um, except for this one this one will affect the score so if you have episode plates that we uh, that appear more score notes um, yeah the, the music notes and the notes is a score note it will help boost your score at the end of the uh, life so do take note of that so if you really really want to be competitive always take note of the episode plates that appear in the gacha and of course make sure that the episode plate provides the notes that you really want plus the skills and all that so yeah okay so with just the auto setting in mind i'm not going to explain further as of yet um, that will be all in the manual section so we're just going to play um, the song and uh, full perfect full combo it and i'll show you guys the results in a while okay so here are the results after perfect full comboing uh, the easy song yeah so as you can see we've gotten uh, 794,678 uh, points um, do take note there is three excellent taps uh, within this uh, final result with the auto set uh, diva plates on the three divas that we've selected okay with that in mind we're gonna do a full manual setup of the team uh, with my own uh, selection of episode plates that I currently own and of course I'm gonna do that by choosing the same friend if possible so let me see if I can find Yuna so apparently Yuna is not here but there is another person with the exact same plate with no extra last luck so exactly the same thing so I'm gonna use this friend okay and I'm going to unequip all the plates to my diva manually. Alright, so this is going to take a while. Okay, with that done, uh, let's get down to setting up our divas manually. So if you are not familiar with all the positions of the episode plate right now, this one, this very, very center episode plate with your center diva, the very first one, is called your active plate. The rest around it are all live plates. So basically, episode plates equipped in this zone are only uh, using their live skills and nothing else. So we're gonna tap this. Okay, then we're gonna use this um, sub tap and we're gonna arrange it to active skill. All right, then from here, we're gonna choose the color of the plates uh, that we want. Alright, so with this function here in mind, if you're playing a rainbow song, alright, having it under all would be a better option. But since it is a single element song, um, why we choose the heart or rather the love element um, to, to be equipped to our divas? Basically, when you have the plates that are of the same element as the song, your stats of the plates will tend to have a boost so um, it is actually beneficial if you have uh, the same element plates equipped with the song of the same color so with that in mind uh, do take note that's why rainbow songs tend to give you better um, final scores than single element songs it's mainly because you can actually use any color plates uh, which you might have uh, in your arsenal that may be more powerful than those uh, single element plates that you are holding on to all right so here we go so we selected the love or uh, heart element plate and then we're going to select the diva um, that we're going to equip it on so it's basara in the center why do we do this because we want to uh, have only plates that are able to be equipped onto Basara and have their skills activated. We do not want to see the rest of the other plates that are, well, non-beneficial to Basara. So this is what we're going to do. Alright, so here we go. 
And of course, they already sorted all the plates accordingly to the episode plate skills. So if you see the bottom left hand corner below the element sign, uh, these are the active skills that the episode plates have. Of course, I won't go through what the skills are that will be inside the um, video explaining episode plates itself. But because we're gonna do uh, we're doing a video regarding high score, we're gonna look for plates that help boost score. So what we are looking for is the yellow, this one, yellow note skill. Alright, so with that in mind, as you can see, uh, my pink plates aren't doing very well. So the highest I have uh, is basically a four, uh, rather a five star plate, but it's incomplete. So uh, that's kind of sad. So with that in mind, sometimes, um, Equipping a different color might come handy in this kind of factor. So let's do that. We're gonna go with all. Alright. Okay, we're gonna scroll down until we see the uh, score boosting active skill. Alright, there we go. Okay, so here. Now, if you take note. The plates are actually arranged accordingly to the best there is, from best to worst. So the, the leftmost one is always the best, then it goes down to worst. So you can see the type Nilin's uh, plate, the total is 3065. Then of course, if you go to Reina's plate, it becomes 2515. So it decreases along the line as we go down. So it goes this way. So always take note. So it's always best to equip the, the, the best one first. Then, of course, followed with the next one. And, of course, the next one. But the thing is, only the first plate needs the active skill. The rest of them tend to only need the life skill. So, from here on, we're going to change it to life skill. And you still keep the tab under all and have Basara selected. So, there we go. Now, we're going to go all the way down. So, the now the, the, the results will show you plates with life skill that help boost score. As you can see, the melee plate that we have equipped as active plate actually has a healing uh, life skill. So, okay. Um, but because it's in the center position as an active plate, its life skill uh, will not be activated at all. So here we go, we have um, uh, Kaname Sun's plate here. Now, of course, Reina's plate already is with a skill uh, a life skill with score but because it's lower uh, in points we're gonna replace it with Kaname's plate of course here we go and this one as well there we go so this is the best setup for Basara in terms of total strength um, for points it is currently not set up accordingly to single element plate because um, my well, my love or heart shape element plates aren't very, um, I would say, outstanding. <laughs> so this is basically the best effective way I can get score out of it. Uh, and yeah, okay, so with that in mind, um, there is one other thing you can take note uh, as uh, probably a competitive player is the live skills of all these plates. If you take a look at the life skills, it, six, it says here, yeah, six, at the 60 combo mark for 14 seconds, your score will be boosted by 80% up. Now, um, if you really, really want to be competitive, you will need to calculate each life plate that you have equipped onto your divas when they activate their life skill. You do not want them colliding with each other. So, here's the troublesome thing. If you really, really, really want to be competitive, you will need to write down a chart of all your plates um, that have life skills for boosting points. Um, like some of the Japanese have done. Uh, if you guys are following me on the Facebook group, I will link the Facebook group in the description down below. You can follow us there. Uh, we do have uh, somewhat of a friendly, small community 
uh, that we do discuss from time to time about um, Uta Macross play and Macross, uh, well, anything Macross actually. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I did post up a list, uh, or rather a small chart that a fan did on Twitter um, that he compiled um, episode plates with skills that help prevent combo breaking because the event, last event, actually needed you to have um, full combo or you know um, make re rather it requires you to have a certain amount of combo to clear a mission so that's what the Japanese have thought up of they basically created uh, their own chart of episode plates that activate accordingly to time of activation so this is what you really need to do if you really want to hit the high scores as well you need to know when your episode plates will activate uh, at what point make sure that they do not collide with each other so you can have the best amount of uh, skills being activated at their most optimal pace all right so with that in mind if you actually follow the plates along this line surprisingly enough the system actually helps you sort accordingly to when they activate kind of <laughs> well from my own personal experience um, in terms of manually setting up this way so yeah that's a wonderful thing all right so let's move on to the next two divas and we can get this video as as done with as possible uh, it's gonna be a very long one so okay we're gonna change the thing here so live skill all and I'm gonna change the diva to Reina there you go I'm gonna scroll down let's do this very quickly uh, so I've taken up uh, quite a bit of your time uh, watching this video Alright, so with this one equipped on Basara already, let's go with Reina next. Okay, and of course we have uh, Keith, and of course another Reina. So, alright, there's one other thing I forgot to mention. The center active plate, the skill in the center skill, yeah, do take note, center skill. So when this plate is in your center divas first plate, or rather it's active um, its skill will activate so its unit total will gain 30% up so it's always best to have a plate that has this kind of skills that helps boost the total score of your uh, unit basically Basara itself uh, if it has a skill to boost the entire team that is fantastic as well so that's why pulling episode plates from gachas is a very tacky thing um, if you're a competitive player if you're just a fan to play Macross and of course to collect uh, the, the divas that you love, well, these things don't really matter. You just want to have the wonderful pictures of your favorite divas and that's it. <laughs> but in terms of a competitive player, you need to be very picky uh, in terms of when to pull gachas or not. Alright, so let's move on to Makina. Alright, here we go. Select Makina. <laughs> I do apologize for such long draggy videos, but I want to be as accurate and inform as informative as possible. Alright, so let's equip whatever that is remaining. So we have, uh, yeah, Nikumo. Uh, really, there's nothing else? Okay, definitely this is better. So this one is at the 30 second mark, 35 second. So yeah, that's this the problem here. You see, um, because they are arranged accordingly to when they are activated, so um, sometimes the better plates get tossed at the bottom, but they end up having better skills than the ones at the top. Uh, Alright, not skills, better stats than the ones at the top. So mm, it's really compelling whether to have it equipped or not, but because they are only like five seconds apart, but sometimes that few seconds difference uh, makes a whole lot of difference uh, I'm not sure whether that makes any sense to you guys but you know testing play um, with all these different episode plates it has come to my attention that sometimes yes the timing does play a very big important role um, because here's the thing not all the songs have the same length of time so some songs are longer than others some songs are shorter than others so 
when you equip specific plates that appear their life or have their lives activated at certain times, the song might be over by then. You know, that's the, the kind of thing that you probably have to risk. So yeah. Alright, so let's go with uh, the more powerful plate just just for the lows. Alright, so let's take a look what else do I have. I don't have anything else that's better, so probably now I I want I probably might equip this. It la lasts for 9 seconds. So this one, how long does this last? Let's see. This lasts for 10 seconds. So it will definitely overlap since it's a 5 seconds part. Uh, let's see. Martina, 40 combo, 30. Okay, maybe we can have this equipped. Alright, so <laughs> there you go. Finally done. Alright, so here we go. Um... I'm just gonna show you guys um, the stats for the team. Alright, so as you can see, we have episode plates that help boost the score. And of course, we have a higher chance of having excellent activated. Okay, so there's one other thing that I really, really forgot to mention during the automated um, adjustment of the plates. Uh, basically, your Valkyries or Siegfrieds that help in the battle. Uh, well, this actually kind of plays a part, kind of, but not a very, very big significant role. Um, during the Valkyrie attack phase, um, of course, having the better Valkyrie with higher attack points, top one, um, will be beneficial in a way it doesn't help boost your score but it does help uh, get Cho Utahime mode activated um, with more definite results so with, with Cho Utahime mode activated we will produce more score notes uh, during uh, Cho Utahime mode uh, which will help in your total score at the end so with that in mind, always select the Valkyrie with the best offensive points that is available to you. So I have actually selected this one, but if I'm not wrong, there is another one that is actually better at this point of time. Uh, I recall there was one that's like a 2-2-0. Let's see. Okay, definitely not in Frontier. Ah, oh, there we go. So it's Messer. So Mesa has the best offensive stats for the planes as of now. Oh, Arad as well. <laughs> Let's see, Arad and Mesa has the same stats. So yeah, oops, so it's not unlocked. Wow. Okay, so SDF Macross has like the worst stats. That's kind of sad for the old school Macross fans. But what do you expect? I mean, their first generation planes, then of course the more modern generations have better machines. So, okay, I'm just gonna go with um, Messer. Yeah. Messer, <laughs> Alright, so with all this in mind, uh, let's get down to playing the song and I'll show you guys the results in just a moment. Alright, so here is the results of the uh, manually adjusted plates and of course you can see uh, it is definitely higher than the previous one let me just bring up the previous image there we go so the previous image definitely is uh, you can see the score difference is almost about 300,000 points uh, the uh, manually setup version had 1 million points yeah so it's definitely obvious that if you manually set up your plates, you will get a better score. And of course, with all the live skills uh, taking place uh, during the whole live, uh, it's going to help you in the long run as well, including the active skill, which will also help you um, to boost points during the portions of the live that um, the live skills are not in activation. So yes, with that in mind, if you're playing a live, uh, and you're aiming for high score make sure make sure you take note of when the life skills are not activated you can do that by playing once through the entire life without activating your life uh, your active skill uh, take note of 
the duration that the life skills are activated and whichever portions that the skills are not activated make sure you activate your active skill during that period of time uh, but of course uh, that is if your fingers uh, are in a comfortable position to actually activate your uh, active skill for players like me who uses the thumbs uh, sadly to say if I were to play a fast song there might be be some difficulties activating the active skill <laughs> because well we need to have a very quick reaction uh, pace in order to activate the active skill and not miss a chance uh, a window of opening to actually benefit the rewards of having a good high score anyway guys that's basically all I have to pass down to you guys um, regarding manually setting up your divas for a high score so hopefully this very very long draggy video uh, has enlightened you in many ways than one uh, and if you like what you see in here do hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon for more utan across videos in the future and i'll see you guys in the next video bye